Alright, so good um, evening to my YouTube friends, all those as basket makers. Um, I just had wanted to come out today and show you guys um, preparing now a nice teddy bear arrangement here for Valentine's Day. Um, the first thing you're going to need is a teddy bear. If you have the little candy bouquet boxes, you can get them from Dollar Tree or um, Joann's or Hobby Lobby. These here, my sister had bought me, so I had got like three or four of these that she had got me from the store that she went to, I believe Ollie's or one of those places. And I'm using this one here. You're just gonna have to fill it down in the bottom. So what I did is took the teddy bear, placed the teddy bear on the top, and then I have the chocolate candy here. And I um, have the candy, two things of candy there, and then I also put a little sponge inside of there. Okay, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a glue dot and place by his hand, place another one by the hand here, okay. here and in my uh, videos you'll see I don't use like a lot of tape I normally use um, mainly glue dots so we're just coming out tonight and just showing you guys how to do a nice um, bouquet this one is already kind of already pre-done up but um what I did is I took some of the candies that I got from the Dollar Tree the chocolates and I placed them there because next month is going to be cold too. So um, it's going to be very cold out there. I know last year when I was out there for Valentine's Day, it was very cold. So the candy will stay um, cool um, because it's going to be cold out there. Now if it was hot, that's a different thing. I wouldn't um, place the chocolate in there. Or either I'll put the chocolate in a cooler to keep it cool. But because it's going to be cold next month on Valentine's Day, which it could be snowing too. Um, the candy will stay fresh. So what I did is just took two blue dots and placed them in the back of here. And I just set the teddy bear that way. And then as you can see in the back, he has a form. Um, I placed that back there, the string. And I got this uh, wire um, from Hobby Lobby. You get, um, I believe, 10 feet. It comes like in a roll. And um, yeah, it's very good. I use them on my baskets. You can use them to tie your baskets or use them for different things. I know some people use um, fish line, but you can use whatever you have. Okay. All right. So this here is a nice, cute candy bouquet. Okay. His feet is in there. Just going to take a glue dot and place on the feet. I'm going to wrap this one. I'll come back out and do another tutorial because this one I was already pre-doing up. But um, if you go back in my other tutorial, you'll be able to see how to do um, the nice uh, teddy bears. I put one on his feet there. Okay. I need a teddy bear back a little bit. Okay. All right. So this is how this is gonna look, and I put one of the little cute loofahs that I had got from uh, Dollar Tree. They got uh, your four in a pack, the little loof, uh, little sponges, the little loofahs. Okay. And as you can see too, I try not to put a lot of tape. So I just put like a little tiny bit of tape there. But once I shrink wrap it down, you won't be able to even see that. But um, yeah, so that's how this is one is going to be looking. It's a cute um, 
nice teddy bear arrangement. If you want to put more candy or whatever you want to place in there, you can. As you can see in the back of here too, I took another chocolate, took a little tiny piece of glue dot and a little tiny bit of tape and placed it there. Like I said in my videos, I try not to use a lot of tape. I try to use mainly like a lot of glue dots. Um, it makes it look more professional looking. Um, and the string and everything, I'll come back out on another tutorial and show you guys how that one looks. But I'm going to shrink wrap this one and hold for one second. All right, you guys, so I'm back on. So I just had one to come out now and show you guys how to wrap, shrink wrap the bear. So you always want to start from the back. This is my favorite blow dryer here I use. you guys so that's how it's gonna look and you see that it's not um, mushed or nothing it's a little fluffy so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a ribbon place it in the front of it take it off so always start from the back and then work oh, your way for the hold for a minute. Okay, I'm back on. Sorry. So I was saying that um, what you can do is start from the back. Hold for one second. Alright, so I'm back on. I had to um, plug up my computer as I was going down. So this is how the finished product is going to look. So as I was telling you guys before, make sure when you're doing your sh hold for one second. All right, so I'm back on. So um, as I was saying, as I was saying before, um, just make sure when you shrink wrapping, start from the back of your teddy bear and work your way around so that it won't get mushed. And that's how the finished product look. This is a nice, cute um, teddy bear bouquet. Um, if you're liking this type of content, don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my page. Okay? So this here is a cute one here. Alright? And I'm just going to put the ribbon in the back of here. But as I was saying before, um, always start from the back and then work your way up to the front. And then your bears won't get mushed. Alright, so if you're liking this type of content, don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today is Happy Tuesday. My name is Rochelle. The name of my channel is Decorating Time with Rochelle. And yep, and this is the finished product. Okay, let me know down below how hi. my daughter wanted to say hi. Alright, so this here is a cute, nice, cute um, teddy bear candy uh, bouquet. Alright, and I'll be talking with you all to the next video. Bye.